Yesterday, I was shocked to learn that some members of the Democratic establishment and even Kamala Harris supporters do not believe that Kamala Harris's mother, who tragically died from cancer, deserved to receive treatment and care free at the point of service. I was shocked to see that because I would think that they would have enough empathy to understand the importance of providing free health care to someone who is suffering from something as devastating as cancer. So how did I find out about this? Well, it all started with a tweet from Kamala Harris herself. She tweeted the following, and I agree with her on this. Testing for coronavirus and treatment needs to be free, period. Now, that's a <gasps> perfectly fine point to bring up. It absolutely should be free, especially considering how many Americans were uninsured prior to the pandemic and how many more millions and millions of Americans will now be uninsured because they've been laid off as a result of the pandemic. So mm -hmm. Brianna Joy Gray, who is the national press secretary for Bernie Sanders, quote tweeted her and said the following, this is a good start, but is it okay to die from cancer or diabetes because you're poor? So she's asking a very legitimate question about how everyone, every life is precious, every life matters, and we shouldn't just cherry pick when the treatment is, is free. We mm -hmm. should make this available to all Americans regardless of their income. But members of the Democratic establishment apparently don't think that it's a good idea for someone suffering from cancer to get a free service at the point of care. And um, I'll give you some examples. There was Brian Michael Scully. He's a screenwriter in Los Angeles who was supportive of Elizabeth Warren. Uh, he tweeted the following, what the legitimate F is wrong with you? That's what at, he had tweeted. At, this to, is at Brianna Joy Gray. Yes, this is at Brianna Joy Gray. I mean, there was an insane amount of hate directed toward her. Um, so then you have uh, Kim, who's a producer at InterTheory. She tweeted, uh, please, I beg of you to reconsider your priorities. Destroying the Democratic Party what? ain't it, said, said with love. What? I, I think the priority is not having people die because they're poor. That seems like a pretty good priority. I thought we all shared that, actually. I mean, it just, it got so incredibly vicious. Uh, Zerlina Maxwell, who worked on Hillary Clinton's campaign and is now, you know, a pundit on MSNBC, said, the tone of this tweet is mean and disrespectful, especially considering Kamala's mother died from cancer. I think it's mean and disrespectful uh... to make an argument that uh, like allowing people to get the treatment that they need to stay alive without worrying about the cost is out of the question and should be criticized. Like, I mean, the, the things I that they think... were throwing at her, I don't, I mean, if you want to look for yourselves, I, I just like a dark hole of like negativity threats about her job prospects after, you know, uh, the primaries, it was gross to say the least. Yeah, part of it is that they disagree with her on this, and part of it is she's a representative for Bernie Sanders, and so she thinks, well, I don't actually, I'm not actually that offended, but if I can act like I am, if I can take her down, then that'll hurt Bernie Sanders too. Maybe I can get him to disavow her. Maybe I can get him to fire her. Wouldn't that be amazing? And like the the bringing up that that Kamala's mother died of cancer, is that supposed to like, like, so now you're disqualified from bringing it up? Okay, well then by that theory, uh, my dad died of cancer. I give Brianna uh, a, a, a credit now or, or ability to talk about it. Okay, we've canceled out the two parent deaths due to cancer. I mean, I remember my dad for the couple of years as he was suffering and dying from thyroid cancer, continually plagued with medical bills that he had to deal with. It would have been amazing if the last couple of years of his life had been freed from that additional source of stress that he desperately did not need. So we've now canceled that out. Brianna, go ahead and advocate for people who are struggling with paying for their medical bills again. The whole thing is absolutely absurd. Uh, I want no one to get coronavirus. I want one, no one to die from coronavirus. Coronavirus is a massive threat. But there is no, there's no moral reason, there is no ethical reason why you should uh, make the testing and the treatment free and then be viciously opposed to the idea that someone who has, you know, sarcoidosis should also get free testing or for treatment. Or like, like, no, we're not just going to help you if you get something that's trendy and impending. We want to protect you. We have the resources to protect you. We, we know from recent weeks, we have unlimited money to spend on what we actually prioritize. 
maybe we could start prioritizing people's lives, and especially those who up until now have had far less resources than some of the people attacking Brianna. Do they, like, do the people who go after supporters of Medicare for All as viciously as they do, like, stop and really think about what they're fighting against, right? Because while they're pretending to be outraged at Brianna Joy Gray, what they need to really reflect on, because this is now out in the public, they have put this out in the public, they are loudly declaring for, to the rest of the world, if you support a healthcare system that provides care to every single person, regardless of their income, we are against you, we don't think that lives are valuable, and we will fight you, we will, we will intimidate you. So I'll give you an example of what kind of intimidation Brianna Joy Gray is dealing with as well. By the way, these are from the very people who like go off in a corner and cry somewhere uh, because they think that they've been bullied by Bernie Sanders supporters on Twitter, okay? In the meantime though, they're threatening Brianna Joy Gray's livelihood. So one of those tweets uh, was from uh, Shermichael, let's take a look at this. Uh, he tweeted the following, we've both been in politics long enough to know that this person is putting herself in a very bad position for future opportunities. I hope she knows exactly what she's doing because making unnecessary enemies is a fool's errand. And then Bakari oh. Sellers responded with the following, we remember. Oh my God. No, that's, that's, what, that's what they're willing to threaten people with if the individuals they're threatening are supportive of a single payer healthcare system. That's yeah. out there. That's out in the open. It's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, she might not get brought into MSNBC or something. Um, I think she's. I think she's aware of that. I think that she is doing what she thinks she needs to do to move the country to where it needs to be. I like. There are a lot of people that you can come at and say, "Are you actually following your values and advocating for the policies that you're advocating for?" Like I know that you think you are, but are you, are you actually doing that? I think that she should probably get a pass in this one. I think that she knows what she's doing. No, she should be applauded. She didn't, but by the way, she said cancer and diabetes. She wasn't trying to make a point about Kamala Harris's mom. And had she not. tried to make a point, had she tried to make the point about Kamala Harris's mom, she's literally arguing that Kamala Harris's mom shouldn't have to worry about exorbitant medical fees as she's suffering from cancer. What is yeah. wrong with these people? Like, no, this is what we're up against, guys. This is what we're up against. So this, like, nonsense about capitu capitulating with establishment Democrats who are so far up their own corrupt asses that they don't care about your lives. It's, no, it's a ridiculous notion. This idea that if we're just friendlier to them, if we're just nicer to them, that they're going to work with us and actually pass the policies that people desperately need in this country to, li to live. It's the most absurd idea ever. And yeah. right now is the time for progressives to fight. Right now, not tomorrow, not when the pandemic is over, not when countless Americans die already because the system has failed them. Now is the time, okay? Nancy Pelosi, not your friend. Bakari Seller, not your friend. Mainstream media, not your friend. Know your enemies and fight. If you're not willing to do it, then shut up and stop pretending like you actually give a damn about these policies. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.